Welcome to the website Synapse Nest Talk. Um, really excited to have you all here today. Um, let's see, got that working. Okay. My name is Ashlyn Knox, and I'm one of the members of the website Synapse teams. And I'm just going to get the uh, presentation started here. Um, today, we're going to go a little bit over our objective model that we've built up, um, so, some of the things that we've done analyzing uh, like analyzing our current code bases to plan long and short-term projects. Uh, we've spent a lot of time reaching out to the community on revamp ideas and updating servers from Python 2 to Python 3. The websites and apps team um, has spent a lot of time like just uh, getting its, its uh, foundation started. Um, let's see. And uh, today we hope that you'll all be able to take away a clear understanding of, um, of uh, yeah, just uh, what we're gonna be doing in the future here. Today along with me, I have uh, Akashdeep, Onralap, and Sayak. Akashdeep is uh, a Red Hat CPE person. He works on mentorship, packaging, Fedora infrastructure, and docs. Onralap is one of our ambassadors a packager for Fedora KDE applications, and Syak is a web, web ninja by day and community evangelist by night. He also earns a living by working at Red Hat. Um, really quickly before getting into the work that we do and whatnot, uh, let's just talk a little bit more about who we are because this team is just getting started and uh, just uh, looking for new people and everything. And it's a pretty complicated team. Like we've got front end developers, we work on back end, we work on our websites as well as uh, uh, web applications and such. Uh, so with this slide here, you can see that we've got two co-leads, uh, Ramya Parini, who unfortunately isn't able to be here with us today, and Akashdeep, who we are pleased to have with us to present today as well. Um, our team's gotten a lot of mentorship from uh, Justin and from Marie, as well as other uh, members of the Fedora community and leaders in the community like um, Matthew Miller and Ben Cotton. We've been really appreciative of how they've supported us. And then uh, along with that, we're often supported and working with the Fedora's design team, uh, the community platform engineering team, and the Red Hat open source program office. Uh, our team, because we're, we're web development, we're front and back end, but we don't, there's a lot of flu, uh, fluidity between the two. We don't have a really stark divide between uh, these domains, which is great for learning. Hey, Ramya, great for uh, learning opportunities. If you're like a front end dev and you wanna get into a little bit of back end, uh, our setup makes it really, really easy to uh, start learning how to like work in any particular area. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, hand it over to Akash, who is going to talk about some stuff that we've been working on. Sure thing. Thanks, Ashlyn. So now let's get into talking about the things that we have been up to, the things that we work on, and uh, the sites that we kind of help maintain. Moving on, um, we modernized Mode's code base from Python 2 to Python 3 over the course of last year. We also started porting it from the use of Fed message to Fedora messaging. And in that way, we can be pretty sure that all our ISC logs are uh, acknowledged while being received and stored. And we also started packaging it to a new revamped version from 0.6.2 to 0.7.0 up at Copper. We promoted the first Fedora annual contributor survey all across the websites and applications that we have inside of our Fedora universe. And um, that was a fun thing because we were able to do that in a span of like uh, just a week. And uh, that's kind of was uh, evidence about how the team could uh, coordinate uh, all across the time zones in a very uh, limited span of time and achieve great heights. We had our first community team hack session on OpenShift basics where we took code ready containers for a spin and we deployed our own ephemeral clusters. Then we converted the Fedora website's tooling from Python 2 to Python 3, along with the version bumping of all Python uh, dependencies that they make use of. It's still on the verge of getting merged.
I think he has some technical difficulties. Yeah, I think he uh, he, he will be back. We he will lost a yeah, I just give him a minute and he will be back hopefully. All righty. So, uh, what, uh, what was the last part that you have from this? You, yeah, you uh, we have lost the call again. Yeah. Sure thing, sure thing. So, uh, was this slide complete or should I just go ahead and explain the last parts of it? Last part yeah. rephrase will be nice. Sure thing. So, uh, talking about the modernization of Fedora websites tooling, we converted uh, tooling from Python 2 to Python 3 along with version bumping of all the dependencies that the websites use for being rendered to the most recent version. It's still a pull request uh, uh, being merged, but uh, I think it should be in a span of a couple of more weeks. Uh, let's talk about the websites that we work on in the next slide. So Get Fedora is uh, a window for new folks to know about uh, the community and what we have to offer. The Spins website offers Fedora Linux in a variety of desktop environments, so uh, you get to choose the kind of experience that you would like to have. Uh, the Labs website offers Linux in a curated set of applications for a specific purpose. So uh, if it's a scientific uh, purpose, you'd have pre-bundled applications for them, um, for distributions for ARMHF and R64 architectures and so for alternate downloads. Then we have a community site where you could geolocate other fellow contributors from the community throughout the globe. The start is a page which gets you to uh, 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 the magazine articles and the things that the community has been up to when you start your default browser. Flock to Fedora is a gateway to our annual contributor conference where people can end up and know more events and expenses and events and all and talks is finally where you get to achieve these things. So uh, to take a look at these in the developer's point of view, you get to see all the libraries that we make use of in uh, maintaining these applications and sites. There is a single repository which is uh, pegio.io slash federal website. So we'll get to know more about that repository by the end of the slide. but. Uh, if you know any of these things and you feel like that, yep, I can definitely feel like contributing too. So uh, feel free to join us and we'd be definitely glad to have you. Moving on, I'll pass it over to Sayak who would explain the, about the uh, applications that we help maintain. Over to you, Sayak. Hey, uh, thanks Akash, uh, uh, that was a great uh, bit. So, uh, I'll be talking about a web for everyone. Uh, so basically what we help maintain uh, as uh, the websites and apps team. Uh, so with the web applications that we help uh, maintain, we basically create a web for everyone. Uh, maybe you can be a designer uh, who is who wants to contribute uh, to uh, Fedora designs, or maybe you want to contribute to the code or documentation. Uh, this bit's uh, going to be really interesting for you. So uh, if we move on to the next uh, slide, uh, the application projects that we help with uh, uh, is what we are going to be focusing over here. So from badges to Fedocal, uh, there's a lot of options uh, over here. Uh, and we need a lot of people to come join us, contribute, and help out uh, to make this a success. Um, so some of the applications that we need help with in uh, maintaining and uh, also uh, enhancing in the future are uh, listed out over here. Uh, so these include uh, badges, ask not, elections, nuance here, ferrocal, and whatnot. Um, and below them, you can see that we have listed out what uh, techni technologies are used for them. Uh, so you can feel free to check out their uh, repositories at Peugeot. But uh, again, uh, it's it's pretty easy. Uh, well. Technically speaking, it's pretty easy to get started on your first uh, contribution. And we would really, really appreciate if we have new contributors uh, because it uh, it takes a lot of time and effort uh, to maintain this. Um, so moving on to uh, the next slide, uh, we also list out the application uh, projects that we help with. 
so adding to the previous slide, uh, we we need a lot of help with uh, these applications. Uh, they are Moat, Comlog, uh, EasyFix, Magazine, and uh, the Ambassadors uh, section which is again under revamp. So we need a lot of help uh, with both uh, the front end and back end uh, design. Uh, and no matter which stack you are comfortable with, uh, there is a contribution area for everyone. So if you are a full stack developer, please do come and help us with uh, anything that you can. Uh, we need help with the front end. Uh, you might be a uh, Angular developer, React, Vue, does not matter which stack you are. If it's JavaScript, you can help us. If it's PHP, you can help us. Uh, again, uh, for example, Comblog is on WordPress, which is basically nothing but PHP. Uh, same goes for mag magazine. Um, and for Moat, if you are if, if you are experienced with Flask or Bootstrap, again, you can help us. So uh, basically from everything, like from Python to JavaScript, PHP to SQL, it's really interesting to find something that you might be interested in working uh, on as a contributor. And also you might be interested in helping us with, and we would really appreciate that, uh, the, all the help that we can get. Um, also, we have uh, a, good, a good number of uh, volunteers who are pretty active, who would uh, be more, more than happy to help you uh, get started on this journey. And the, and the output is gonna be out there for the world to see. Uh, we, again, are very actively working on the Federal Ambassadors revamp. There are different uh, discussions going on about it in this very event. Uh, that could uh, really help us. Again, if you are the kind of person who has read through Federal Magazine and would really want to have an impact over that, not just as an editor, but you know, as someone who can say that, hey, you know, you see that tiny design bit, that was done by me. That's a huge achievement, not just for you, but also for us as a community. Um, and with that, uh, I, it's time to move on uh, to the next section. Uh, over to Onuralp uh, with this. Okay, thank you, Sayak, for your awesome <clears throat> explanation on elaborating our workflow. So, of course, since we are uh, working very heavily on revamping and also changing our websites. So, it's been a long time uh, for the website was in the pretty much change it bit by bit and come to this today's shape and also changing still. But we it's also time to rejuvenate because we need to change our website maybe a little bit more elegant and more looks like today's uh, modern technology. And in order to do it, we need, of course, needs to work with a lot of uh, people and different teams as well. So this initiative is going to be uh, definitely going to be an awesome and a fantastic, and even for normal junior developer or senior developer, whoever you are, can help us to have this aspect of our work. And also in long term, we will definitely going to be looking into the mentorship opportunities and also other possibilities we have in our hands. So move along to the next slide. <clears throat> so let's just uh, rest after Fedora. Of course, get, restarting get Fedora is going to be one of our biggest uh, work because uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be take take a little bit longer because there is a lot of stakeholders on it and we have to work with a lot of teams. Not just us. We need to con consult and also get some help from design team and also console and so many others in our list. So helping and changing uh, Fedora website main Fedora website is going to be of course going to have a lot of collaboration and this is going to be help us and finding the problems together when brainstorming it is going to be an amazing as well. So of course, we need to also adapt our designs and find a way to responsive solutions. Of course, we need to also modernize as we speak the Python section because it is going to be really important because uh, today's website technology is changing like basically 24 seven and it doesn't stop anywhere. So our website also should be adapted and also more helpful to this <clears throat> situation. Of course, we want to also have a nice, beautiful coding on the back end. And this is going to be, of course, going to be re revived with a lot of teams and we already start on it. This is going to be an amazing. And our goal is going to be, of course, changing the 
both front end and the back end to have much more better solution. And this is going to be include a lot of strategies and changing and optimizing uh, Flask and Python three, which is what we're using on the back end right now in the getfedora.org. Get get and hopefully it will be much more smooth and much more better. I don't know, is it going to take time? Yes, it's going to take time. It's not going to be uh, just going to complete in a day. And so many team members I, meet, I met and I already know is helping and working tirelessly to finish this task and trying to get a solution for everyone as well. <clears throat> so uh, let's just go to the next slide and let's just talk about a little bit how to get involved. So as we as we speak early on, there is a there is already a lot of uh, people wants to help us already in the board, and we still need more help. And as you can see, we have a lot of websites, like not just a couple of websites we talk about. We have infrastructure connected websites, packaging packaging connected website, and our normal website, WordPresses, PHPs, and Python website. They are they are so many, and. We are just a bunch of people. We try to also maintain them and trying to get them in a better position, but we definitely need more help about it. So we have some options. We have some uh, things to do. So what do we do? Uh, we need to help on uh, our documentation and we need to help on other different things to do. But how are you going to find us? Where are we? Like we, we, we living in somewhere in a good place. So. We have a Telegram, IRC, and Metrics channel. And every Thursday over Jitsi around UTC 15 to 16, we have a meetings. And we always have welcome to any PR and any contribution in the Federal Website Repository, which is available in Pagure. And you can, of course, send your ideas or your PRs. We can try to make, find a way to help you out and get you a nice solution as well. So for the for the links, let me share very quickly. <clears throat> is it? Here's our documentation. Basically, if you want to find us, this is what what we are. And of course, for our repositories, So this is our main website, which is Get Fedora. Oh, sorry, this is our old website, and only Get Fedora is also here. So we basically here to help out, and basically wants to also contribute, and also help with the newcomers as well. So thank you so much for that. And now for the closure, I'm leaving the words to Akash. Thank you, Anurag. So uh, thanks for explaining how folks can contribute and how we're organized. So uh, this is the places that you can contact us with. Uh, feel free to drop these links in the chat section on Ralph if you can, so that folks can uh, join us. Also one correction, uh, we have our meetings on Tuesday and uh, that's pretty much the weekly meeting that we have. We can also have uh, more meetings if you want to in an ad hoc manner and uh, that's totally the way forward because we respect that there are time zones and uh, well, time zones can be a mess to be really honest. But uh, the way we work, we kind of respect each other's additions and uh, there can be differences in how websites look and feel like. So uh, a, a long collaboration goes way forward. So uh, feel free to add your questions in the Q&A section. Also, I've floated a, uh, more than a couple of poll questions to be honest, how much would be like five to six months? But that kind of gives us a, a perspective about what things need to be worked on and the kind of things that, well, are not much of a priority to us. So we'll stick by for like 10 more, uh, five more minutes uh, and we'll wrap this up. Feel free to ask questions if you have them. I have a very good feeling about this, you know, folks, because if we don't have any questions. That means we must have delivered a really, really good presentation. We were so clear about things that, oh my God, folks are totally fine with <laughs> the things yeah. that they're supposed Thanks to know. To awesome presentation. We don't bumble yeah. over our words in the websites and apps teams. Totally. I love the 
poll, some of the poll results though. <laughs> Especially accessing our websites and applications via washing machine. Totally. Yeah, I have, I have a washing machine. Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, feel free to add those questions. Uh, we also got to know that badges is something that people are really into. They want to see the new version of badges in terms of look, feel, and maybe the pyramid side of things they want Matthew, to disappear. At least for <laughs> answering your question, very, very tiny brief. There is one thing I would like to fix on the badges website. First things first, I hope we're going to have a nicer design in the future. But the thing I'm really working on it is going to in future is going to be have a better search functionality for sure to finding my badges, which is very important. Well, yeah, Onural has been in conversation with Michael Scherer of OSPO, and uh, we have been uh, trying to make sure that the search is one of the first things that we make happen, of course, before getting into the design side of things, because, well, everything can look a bit better. Of course. And even Luna liked the idea. <laughs> Ouch, there's one person who says Fedora apps is something that they really don't know about. It hurts. Um, maybe Akash, you want to give a quick definition or clarification on what Fedora apps is? Sure thing, sure thing. Uh, that kind of gives us an opportunity to explain about the awesome application that infrastructure team maintains and that we help maintain also. So there must be things that you must have heard about, like Moat for logging IRC meetings, badges. It's a fun way of appreciating efforts that people put in, as well as Comblog. Then there is Easy Fix, where there's a list of self-contained yet documented issues that you can just get started with in contributing. Then uh, Magazine. So these are the applications that are maintained and uh, You'd be surprised that you do come across them, but you just don't know that these are called applications. Also, uh, in a presentation like a couple of days from now, the day after tomorrow, I think we are going to present a revamped version of the apps directory that uh, one of our uh, very old contributors who has been actively contributing since a long time, Ralph Bean, have been working on. So feel free to stick by for that presentation as well. And there is a one question about where is the batch source code and et cetera, and moving to new places. Uh, batch was moving to the new tool on platform, but where is that work now? I haven't keep up. Well, it's not moving anywhere. The repository is still in the same place. And here's the link, which is github.com fedora dash info dash tahrir. And if you just check it out over there, you can find uh, all the backend code of the badges. And if you want to contribute it, feel free. There has been a question regarding some redesigns. So let me clear, there would be a lot of redesigns. So feel free to join us in uh, the links that are provided in the chat section so you can decide how the websites might look like down the line. Go ahead, Ashlyn, sorry. Well, as I'm saying, I noticed that there is uh, some interest towards responsiveness in uh, the redesigns of our websites. And on Saturday uh, with John, I'm gonna be doing a uh, hack session where we're gonna do like kind of a beginner's intro to editing HTML and CSS for people that are curious about web development but haven't gotten their feet too wet in it. And then we're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, work on um, making uh, banners and whatnot responsive. So we'll be taking the uh, Nest banner that you've seen on the websites or that we had to put up on the websites for this event. Um, right now it's just a static image. We're going to be going through how to turn that into a responsive banner so it like is optimized at different levels uh, so yeah if you're interested in that you can um, get a bit of a first-hand experience of what it's like to work with us on the web and apps teams some of the front end stuff that we do and uh, just yeah what making comment uh, to pajar and stuff is like for our team All right, so Matthew has a question regarding Badger. So I think it was a part of a Google Summer of Code outreach project. One of the interns worked on a Badger client, but that's pretty much how much information that I have on it. So if any other folks know more about it, please feel free to add in. Yeah. All righty, yeah, I think we can wrap up, uh, you know, give some more times to folks who would want to, you know, take a room, uh, walk around the room, feel their legs back again, and then join another call. And uh, 
we'll see you folks around. It has been a real pleasure talking to you folks, and thank you so much. Yeah. Ciao. Thank, thank you, everyone. everyone. Bye. Good night.